Today we are talking about the onion rooting or TOR, so let's jump into it. I will give a brief overview on how TOR works, why it provides anonymity and why anonymity can fail. First, we need to cover two important concepts in the TOR protocol. We have two kinds of cells, control cells and relay cells. Control cells are sent to a TOR relay and incorporate a circuit ID, a command and some data. This is not the actual data that is sent to my communication partner, rather it contains encryption information such as Diffie-Hellman values. A control cell is not encrypted. Next, relay cells. These are relayed through the Tor network. Ultimately, a relay cell is relayed until it reaches the communication partner, for example, a server I want to browse anonymously. Relay cells are encrypted and they contain the actual payload for example, an HTTP request. I want to send through the Tor network. We will now see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how Tor works. It is on a high level and I will not go into detail how exactly circuits are established. If you want to have more details, write in the comments and I will make a more detailed video about it. Alice wants to talk to Eve. To this end, she chooses three Tor relays at random, Bob, Charlie and Dave. First, she creates a circuit with the first Tor relay Bob, and Bob acknowledges the creation of the circuit. Next, she wants to extend the circuit with Charlie. Note that everything between Alice and Bob is now encrypted with the symmetric key between Alice and Bob. Charlie also acknowledges the creation of the circuit between him and Bob, and Bob relays that information back to Alice. Next, Alice extends the circuit with Dave. Now, everything except parts that Bob needs to relay the command is encrypted with a symmetric key between Alice and Charlie. Dave also acknowledges the extension of the circuit and information is relayed back to Alice. Finally, Alice can start the communication with Eve. Everything is now known Everything is now encrypted with the symmetric key between Alice and Dave. Again, except for the parts Bob and Charlie need to relay information, such, such as circuit IDs and commands. Dave and Eve perform a TCP handshake and the successful completion of the circuit is relayed back to Alice. Alice can now send the payload to Eve. Note that this is not encrypted unless Eve is a server that has TLS in place. But Tor itself does not encrypt your outgoing payload. Once it leaves the circuit, it's up to you to encrypt the data. Why is this secure? First, let's look at Bob. He knows Alice and Charlie, and communication between Alice and Bob is encrypted using their symmetric key. Communication between Alice and Charlie is encrypted with their respective symmetric key, which Bob does not know and has no means of finding out. Finally, communication between Alice and Dave is encrypted with their symmetric key, which only they know. However, Dave does not know Alice. In fact, he only knows Charlie and Eve and that there is someone who shares a key with him. And as Charlie knows only Bob and Dave, he also doesn't know. Charlie also doesn't know where the payload is ultimately sent. That's why it is important to have three nodes between you and your target in the Tor network. This way, Tor provides anonymity and this is what makes the dark web possible and so frustrating to deal with for law enforcement. There is simply no way of knowing who sent the payload to Eve. One possible way of breaking anonymity would be if a global adversary controls all Tor relays and can therefore monitor all traffic. Right now, this is not the case. Another way, and this is proven to be successful in uh, previous cases, for example, Silk Road, uh, is for the payload uh, containing any information about the origin. For example, by using si the same username Alice used somewhere else. With the help of ISPs, it is now possible to find Alice even if the Tor network was implemented correctly. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching. Tell me in the comments which topics you would like me to cover. Like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.